Okay. Aha. Apparently, it does the what it thinks is the default microphone does not match what I think it should be. <laughs> Very I tell good. It, no, use this microphone. Then it works. Awesome. Hey, Matthew. Hello. How's it I going? I would like to show off. This this is Nibbler as Tux doing Nibbler cosplay from Futurama. Very um, good. I. I I have a bookshelf behind me now, so I can put you know things to show off. Nice. It's a very nice tchotchke. I enjoy. I notice your distinguished hat is not uh, being displayed there. Oh, it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's very distinguished. Uh, just a little bit of a story behind that. Some uh, Fedora contributors wanted to congratulate Matthew with a very distinguished hat for becoming. It, it's very touching. And uh, yes. For becoming, what's the title? I don't want to butcher it. Distinguished engineer, in there fact. We go. So this, that way I can show that I am indeed distinguished. <laughs> it doesn't fit with headphones on, though, so I can't actually wear it during calls very easily. But just flip yeah. them back like that. No, I guess it's built-in mic. <laughs> well, now I can't talk. Uh, but yes. Uh, nice all right. try. Yeah. Been action <laughs> begotten something. <laughs> Yes, okay, so uh, I just talked for a while, the logo and the zine, but that was fun. I was listening. I, yeah. I wasn't. <laughs> I, I missed your invite to come on camera. I'm sorry, but. Uh, it's all good. Uh, I ended up being able to field most of the. <laughs> missed it. <laughs> yeah. um, I ended up being able to field most of the questions, so. And Mo answered some in the talk, so that worked out too. Um, so, yeah. I had a really great day today again. It seemed to be a little bit more community focused and I was all about it. Uh, I think the work adventure map was just one. Just one map. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe like fewer Jitsi zones. Like and that clearly say Jitsi zone on them so you know what you're wandering into. So like very well defined like, Yeah areas okay i feel like writing jitsi zone on a sign is like too on the nose if you don't, you don't want... i feel like we could figure this out design wise right. okay uh yeah yeah we could figure it out i think we're just like could be like a little bit more segregated somehow in the sense that there's like markers so you know you're like about to enter an area right yeah. I liked I liked the idea of having um, for for Nest have it be like our vendor booth there, and then you can actually have like this is the topic for little chats in this area. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah, like we could do do that on, kind of on this this. I think it should be part of like a bigger map where there's some socializing too, some socializing, just not just the vendors, but I think putting them there would be great, and then doing a vendor specific social. We could have like an expo map as well. We could have like Fedora SIGs and teams do different, like here's, you know, the KDE booth. Here's the. I like it. I like that. The one thing is we can't expect people to boot, like staff those the whole time. <laughs> well, if we, if we just do it for like an hour or something, right? There Maybe we go. Then people, yeah. Cool. Just make sure we put the hors d'oeuvres in the back of the map so that everyone has to walk through and talk to the, the sponsors before they get the hors d'oeuvres. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and then we'll pass around who's giving out good swag. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I think we have to read out some polls. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, we got to do this. Okay, have you ever action be cotton? When don't I? 13.9%. <laughs> Often, 8.3%. I will in the F-35 release <laughs> cycle now that I know that I can. 33% and what? I, I, the background here is Ben really likes to... Um, if you oh. suggest something, he's going to walk away. He's a really helpful person, and if you suggest something, we'll take it as an obligation. So my actual thing is try not to overaction B Cotton for things <laughs> because he's uh, helpful enough as it is. He's Thank very you, Ben. Helpful. We love you. Uh, oh, yes. Um, <laughs> I actually do also have that shirt. I think um, one of two people in the world to have the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably Neil, for the best. Ran Neil asks, are we randomly nest planning for our closing? Well, sort of. 
we're reflecting on uh, events and we'd love input on how we could do it better for Nest this year, of course. Um, let's see what else we got in the polls here. I know there's some funny ones. Um, is the glass half full or half empty? By 83.7, Fedora is infinite. So that's the answer there. <laughs> um, let's see. Do you multitask when attending a meeting online? The overwhelming answer is yes, I'm guilty by two times the mother once. I want to know what three people lied and said they were 100% focused. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, the one of my favorites, are you an early bird or night owl? We got eight early birds, 23 night owls, nine both, and 14, neither. I am a permanently exhausted pigeon. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> yes, that is actually my, my choice of choice. Um, let's see. So the most chosen for why did you join the release party today was to hang out with friends. I think that's cool. I'm going to say it even though it's all warm and fuzzy. Um, very even spread on the superpowers. Okay. Gnome is clearly killing it. 32 votes, 66.7. And then next comes I3 with six votes. Okay. Very close behind is Plasma KD. I can't leave that one out. <laughs> um, Warm fuzzies for this one, favorite part of this virtual release party. 18 votes for Marie, Matthew, and Ben just talking with no plan. So that, that is, is excellent because we can really do that. Like, that's a. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Sometimes we start planning and doing work, and you guys are now involved in that. So glad you like it as much as we do. Um, there's 12 people here who are not involved but would like to be. So I hope that you join the join channel and uh, reach out to those folks and just say, hey, and introduce yourself. Um, you know, you don't have to expect to be jumping into contributions first thing. Just uh, learn and hang out a little bit about how Fedora works. We'd love to have you. Absolutely. All right. What else we got here? Um, tell us the truth. Are you wearing pajamas right now? We have a tie. A thousand percent yes. And never. <laughs> I am in the never category. I actually always like to get dressed in the morning because it helps me like get ready for my day. I know it's crazy. I'm not like one of those, oh, COVID equals sweatpants time. Especially with a remote job in general, it's good to have that discipline. Otherwise, um, work, it, work bleeds over into your lifetime. Apparently, if you put on work clothes, that can still happen. Matthew. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it's, it's just a little easier. Lines. <laughs> yeah. I, I, right. My first winter working at home, I wore a lot of PJ pants for a little bit. And then I was like, yeah, I'm actually not getting anything done when I do that. I'm, I'll go ahead and put, like, actual pants on. I didn't, I didn't say anything about pants, though. I don't, I don't really own that many pants. Pants are not well, pants. Uh, leggings are in pants, right? No. Okay. Anyway. Uh, for this purpose, sure. Why not? <laughs> what is your favorite of the four Fedora Foundations? How can I pick just one? I think that one always wins with friends right behind it. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good showing for freedom there too. So. Okay. There are eight people who are asking their elected positions in Fedora? Question mark. Yes. There are elected positions in Fedora. Um, they come with some amount of responsibility, but we hope it's mostly fun. Um, and it's everything from helping with organizational stuff on Mindshare Committee to engineering stuff or packaging stuff or and, council stuff. And if I may, the nominations are open as of Wednesday. Uh, so I just dropped the link into chat for anyone who um, is interested in the process or would like to nominate themselves. Generally, people self-nominate because, you know, you're the one that knows if you have time to, to take on the responsibility. If you want to nominate someone else, that's great, but also make sure you ask them first. Don't we just volunteer maybe them just for go that. Ahead. 
You should maybe just go ahead and call these self nominations because I nominate or, people. Yeah, do, all right. I've asked someone in every release yeah. cycle if they wanted to run either for council or not. Have you so. nominated them though, or have you yeah. encouraged them to self nominate? Oh, I nominated them. Should I have encouraged okay. them to? No, I okay. No, that's no, that's awesome. Go for it. I I nominated Tatika for Mindshare, and I forget what the one was before that, but I just not nominated Anora for the Mindshare committee this See, time. That's some action and impact coordinating right there. There we go. <laughs> to do it at again, at it again. All right. What work adventure map did you like best? Everything, which is how we chose our map for today. And I have to say thank you again to the outreach applicants who worked on the maps. Uh, super fun. And we're going to continue on with this idea. Even the person who worked on the courtyard and who got no votes. Very yes. appreciated. You need to have a courtyard. <gasps> <laughs> I actually really like the courtyard in the sense that it looked like uh, maybe like an actual like video game versus like a fedora <laughs> mishmash of badgers and pandas. Not that there's I, anything wrong with I that. I enjoyed the mishmash of badgers <laughs> and pandas. I thought it was crazy. Um, yes. I... yes, definitely enjoy it. But uh, there was actually something very polished about the courtyard option. Um, I love seeing this. Is English your first language? No, 68 votes. That's 60%. So cool. Uh, actually, something. Oh, go ahead. I have something for the people who are not English as first language folks, which is ask.fedoraproject.org has non-English categories, and they're actually very underused. So this would be a great, easy way, uh, especially if you're not you know, feeling super comfortable in Fedora in English, but feel you know good about the technology or that you're learning the technology you can help learn with other people go to ask project.org find those other language categories and start participating there because um, we want this to be you know uh, obviously we are an english first project uh, historically but we also want to make sure that you know people are able to participate in their native languages and this is a global project absolutely um so a CPE question, that's community platform engineering. Would you prefer a monthly community platform engineer and community call or just mailing list updates and community blogs? Literally 50.7 and 49.3. <laughs> so it's basically a completely a split with one more vote for yes. So that's going to be fun for Eva to make a decision on. All right, whatever. Uh, what? Ugh, not whatever. Okay. Words, days. How familiar are you with the change process in Fedora? 43 votes for I get the basic idea. Six votes for I am Ben Kai. Now, we only had four last time, so that means that Ben has been making more clones. This is for the best, yeah. <laughs> All you right. You got to do what you got to do. Equal votes for IRC and Telegram as the preferred chat. All right. Um, there were more attendees. Uh, so, did you attend Mess with Thor last August? Yes, 64 votes. No, 76 votes. So, we're getting more uh, exposure there. It's cool. No people. It's coming up. It's your chance. Yes, no people. Come to Mess. And welcome um, back. Yes, people, of course. Seems like most people are enjoying uh, Hop in. It's like, the majority, but we do have 11 votes of like meh on Hopin. I hope uh, moving to work adventure, having some work adventure in there made it more enjoyable for you. Um, all right. Overwhelmingly, this is people's first release party, which is so awesome. I was talking a little bit about the stats uh, at the wrap up yesterday, but let me just look at them real quick again because I can tell you that we had 366 people turn out to this event, and we had That's almost amazing. 500 registrations, I believe, which is comparable to the show out the sh the turnout we had for Nest. So I think we can say that we're growing, and I'm really looking forward to the turnout that we have for this upcoming Nest. I think we can go more towards like a thousand. Wow. 
All right, there's a goal. Let's double. Let's do let's it. Let's double it. So we need the whole community to work on promoting this, so we can get a thousand people at our virtual event. Okay. Only four people were joining with a pineapple today. <laughs> That's the end of the polls. All right. Well, I'm just going to read through the chat because I was missing it. I don't really have much else except to say thanks to everybody who came and to the presenters who took their time to share with us and to answer questions. And yeah, everyone for the release, especially Ben. <laughs> yes. Thank you, everybody. I Sorry, I was getting distracted by Twitter. See, that's exactly the multitasking thing. I was going to go put there our goal of 1,000 people, but we'll, we'll do that after after the. Yeah. We're you may not be it. typing that into TweetDeck right oh. now. <laughs> well, OK. Uh, I'll, I'll retweet your thing once it's done then. Nice. Uh, okay, and thank friends. you again, everybody. Wait, thank you, Marie, for organizing all of this. You uh, did an amazing job. Um, and welcome. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad everyone had fun and uh, there's places to leave feedback, mindshare tickets on both the work adventure and just the release party planning. So if you have any input on that, feel free to join. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye, everybody. See you online. <laughs>